this is the Flip and Tray 80 Plus Xeno Skin. It's some premium type of ultimate guard product to ultimately guard your cards. <laughs> um, so the one I got is in white, and I got it for a whopping $27.95 Canadian. So this product has premium Xeno Skin card box with a magnetic closure and card and dice trays for the protection and archival archival archi archival <laughs> safe storage of double sleeve cards in standard size. What's nice about this is if it is single sleeved, you can fit your commander deck. Commander in Magic the Gathering is a hundred card deck, but here I got it for my Pokemon cards because it's easy to bring your dice and your deck together with this one. It's really nice. For this one in particular, the flipping tray can fit 80 double sleeved or 100 single sleeve standard size cards and ultimate guard sleeves. So standard size means regular card size of 2.5 inches by 3.5 inches. So that's a typical magic card, Pokemon card, Digimon card. Um, so this does not, like it will fit your Yu-Gi-Oh cards or your Japanese size cards, but this is more meant for the regular size cards. It has removable card and accessory trays. It has independent access stage tray, which is very awesome. Resistant Xenoskin material. So Xenoskin is their the ultimate guard brand kind of texture or protective kind of leather that's on this case. We got a microfiber inner lining and a strong magnetic closure. So I have other Ultimate Guard products as well. Um, I usually just use their casing or kind of travel accessories, but a lot of people love the katana sleeves, which I'll speak more about later. This is not a review video, it's just a box opening video. And then I'll give a review, you know, in a couple months down the road here. Let's put my dice up top here, a nice metal dice, and then this cute pink die from my Eevee ETB, the one with Sylveon on the cover. I'll link the video here. A cute blue dice. It's quite a bit of dice nicely. I know these ones are quite a bit smaller, the damage counters from Pokemon. Here's my Pokemon deck. Right now I am playing a Zacian build with Inteleon, but I do have a few other builds for Zacian. That includes Zamazenta. I like to say it's a sweet life of Zack and Zam. <laughs> Zacian Zamazenta. Anyways, back to the video. We are putting the cards into the we are putting the cards in the archival, archival little drawer thing. We got 60 cards here, double sleeved, standard Pokemon deck. So the problem I have with this drawer here is, as you can see, the sleeves are peeking up top. And it's kind of difficult to close without the top of the sleeves kind of hitting the microfiber inside. And that's why I don't typically use this. So I'll show you what I usually use because I don't trust that. So with the katana sleeves, you could probably fit it more smoothly because they are a little shorter than the dragon shield sleeves that I use. I personally like the dragon shield sleeves. A lot of people like the katana sleeves. I'll have links to both down below. I have this 80 plus boulder deck box that I would I usually use. This is ultimate guard as well. So this is 80 plus and then I'll put my 60 double sleeved card deck in it and I'll show you how it fits nicely because they are the same product and also the tops of my cards don't, don't get caught in anything because these are just so reliable. These boulders, like, they're great. I've been using them for a while, like I started playing card games like two years ago which was magic thanks to my family and my cousin. And then I just wanted to try some Pokemon, and it's been great. A lot of these products do work with the standard size Pokemon cards, so it's perfect. 